it came um, came out that the news, the big news of Juventus hosting Notts County for opening the opening ceremony of the new stadium, and uh, I, I I remember I was texting to Andy, was texting to me, oh yes, we we did it. <laughs> I was getting bombarded with messages, Andy, Andy, Notts County is coming to Italy, because they knew it was a a, a dream for, for for the two clubs to play each other. I remember there were some Notts County fans uh, shouting uh, Juventus, Juventus and Notts County um, sings, songs and um, I, 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 go near, I went near them and said where is, where is my friend Andy Black and he was there with his, uh, with his wife and his son and it was, it was unbelievable. And as these people moved out of the way we looked across and there was Giorgio shouting my name and, and someone says, I think Lisa shouted, Andy Black, he's here, he's my husband. It's not just about football. It, the football connects us, but it's just a small part of the. Fr you know, it, it, we're talking about friendships now, not about football fans. I can say that um, the game is great, uh, but is uh, the, the less important thing we came for. We like to 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 watch the games. We hoped to win every game. But uh, at the end of the weekend, we're okay even the, of the result because we are happy to we've met our friends again. When the Italian magpies come over, it's become the thing to do, Robin Hood statue, Italian magpie scarf. But now we've got Jimmy and Jack statue and uh, we will carry on using Robin Hood statue because it, it was there it was their beginning. But Robin uh, Jimmy and Jack now will be the second location. odd years I've been supporting Knots and it's just I don't know I've always I always refer to her as the grand old lady of football and I always tell people when you've been to Knots County you'll always come back because she's just a warm club you know it's, you, you get a hug from her um, she's a brilliant club I, I just love the place as well. We formed a friendship with the Italians quite a few years ago and when uh, they went to Juventus for the opening of their ground, we had a special friendship flag made for them to take over to Juventus. And in return, they presented us with a flag. And that friendship has grown, and, and it's really lovely to see the Italians keeping the faith with Notts County. 1897, Juventus formed. I've got on there pink to black and white, 1903. We'll be getting the black and white stripes, Italian magpies, that's the Italian supporters. On this one, I've got Notts County, Notts County ladies. That's off eBay, the badge. That's off eBay as well. And the chap in there just put, put them on for me. So, on the back, two arts, one soul. So, you can't miss me, really. <laughs> This is quite an interesting story as uh, it's not a common story in uh, football. Um, Juventus uh, usually used to wear uh, pink shirts since uh, 1903 when um, John Savage, who was uh, a former Juventus player, 
he's uh, originally from Nottingham and uh, he asked a friend for a new football shirts because uh, his uh, teammates wanted a um, new uh, real football shirt from England and uh, he was a huge Notts County fan. So Juventus in um, in 1903 received a pack from Nottingham and so they decided to use it, to use the black and white colours and they were uh, lucky because they started to win some some matches and so it goes, <laughs> it goes well. I was passionate about Juventus and uh, Notts County and all the story and uh, I think it was great to talk about something that unique as this relationship also because nowadays footballs football is um, is not is not really um, uh, full of uh, good messages is there are a lot of bad things my idea was to set up something to live a bet to live football in a better way and it changed all my view of football Message two or three days before that the new chairman requested to meet the uh, the Italian magpies and uh, how could I turn him down? <laughs> Normally I have to ask the question, but this time they asked me. I see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Pleased to meet you too. I also too. give you this one. It's a magazine we made in uh, like three seasons ago. Okay. It's all, uh, it's all in Italian. I think he was know. taken aback by oh. these people taking their time out to come over here and uh, share this game with us today. One shot, one shot, one one shot to win. Only one. <laughs> maybe, maybe between the posts. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, if, if it's possible. We're saving the goals for the second half. To the show right you close up the celebrations in this goal. Yes, yes. this is the right goal. This is the right goal to score. It's destiny. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't beat us. That's exciting. I just wish we had a few more goal mar goal mouth ex um, chances, shall we say? But uh, I'm happy with that. Watching Notts County is quite different than watching Juventus because one is uh, top of football in Italy and one other is is in a lower um, uh, lower category. But the passion of the supporters is quite the same as everybody loves their own club and everybody wants, wants to win. So we, it's okay, we, supp we support each other. I don't, I don't prefer one or the other, it's like uh, the same team. We, we used to say two hearts, one, two hearts, one soul. So it's quite, it's quite like this. This is still a dream. And that's for Juventus to be out on that pitch playing against Knox County. Some people say that'll never happen. And I, my motto, you never say never. Um, we'll keep going on. We'll keep working at it. And with our friends in Italy, we can make this happen. Let's get let's let's start small. Let's 
even if it's a team of legends that turn up or a youth team, it's a starting thing. But my dream is that Juventus Football Club will be out there on that famous pitch of ours and uh, have a game. I, I it's very difficult to put into words what it means to me. Um, maybe, there, maybe there are no words. Um, I think when you see the Italian magpies come up, when they stick, when we meet up, it could be a year, it could be six months. It's always the same. It's like uh, our conversations carry on like it was yesterday. But when we meet each other, we haven't seen you for ten years. That's what it feels like. It's uh, there's a lot of emotion in there. There is a lot, and it, and uh, yeah, what I, I don't know. If, if you don't get it, I, I can't explain it to you. That's that's my message to anybody. Anybody who doesn't think what what you're going on about, I says, well, you'll, you'll never know because it's just something that's inside your heart.